Okay, so let's look at the full ladder construction from NOR gate. So expressions are same. Sum is AX or BX or C and carry out is AX or B carry in plus AB or AB plus BC plus CA where C is carry in. So this is how you will make NOR uh, sum, sum output from NOR gate. So it looks big but uh, it is repetitive. You can see that. So how it works, you can see that. So this one, two, three, four, this arrangement, what this will make is AX or B. So th this point at here, output will be what A X nor B. Okay, I can show you. So this position, it is A plus B bar. At this position, it is A plus A plus B whole bar whole bar this position and at this position it is b plus a plus b bar whole bar and at this position you can take the or between these two guys p plus a plus b bar whole bar full bar okay so now you can see that if i if i if i use d morgan's here a bar dot a plus b plus b bar dot a plus b okay and full bar if you will open this what you will get is a a bar that will be zero so a bar b i'm just opening the brackets plus a b bar whole bar what is this this is a x nor b right so what i am trying to say is uh, this four nor gate arrangement this four nor gate arrangement is giving you a x nor b if this output will be passed through this not gate looking nor gate then what will be the output here it is a x or b right because a x nor b bar is equal to a x or b so here you are getting a x or b from here you are getting carry input now this arrangement if you will look 1 2 3 4 5 it is same as this arrangement so at the output of this arrangement what we are getting is input is a and b so output is a x or b similarly sum will be a x or b x or c right same combination same combination we will use here so this is repetitive this part is repetitive here and that's why we are getting same thing so here we are getting a x or b here we are getting c in so on the same logic we will get here a x or b x or c that's how sum we will get okay so slightly you can see it is hectier than nand gate implementation <coughs> now how we gonna get this scary part this is uh, more uh, I would say complicated so ci plus one so you will need this guy as well as this guy then we will do the full calculation so a and b i want so what i'll do a i'll pass with a not gate b also i will pass with a not gate and these two combination i'll pa pass with another nor gate so this is a this is b this is a b sorry this is a bar and this is b bar so you will get a b here so this term you have got now you want this term so this is our a x or b so i'll take that put it in the not gate similarly c in put in the nor gate not gate and then the output i'll put in another not not gate uh, in a nor gate so what you are getting here is this term a x or b c in okay and finally we want this whole term so i'll take this guy this guy take this so you will get bar this term plus this term bar and to remove the bar you will get like this so this is ci plus one okay so it's a completely different hectare type using more number of universal gates to implement sum and carry compared to nand gate so better implementation of full adder is with nand gate only 
because you can see some only requires 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 here carry is requiring 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 total we are using 18 gates whereas uh, in nand gate we were using only half nine gates we were using total okay so that's how you will implement but uh, better approach would be to use nand gate clearly you can see it utilizes more number of gates that's why okay but uh, for the sake of completeness i wanted to include this so that you in your head you should be knowing how to implement full adder using nor gates only okay so yeah let's move on now we can go even further in designing full adder using nor gate you can only use nine gate as well so till now we have seen the previous implementation we have we had used a lot of gate right we can even reduce it further with nine gates only and both we can achieve sum as well as carry within nine gates we can achieve that right see here what i have made this part you are already aware of this part you are already aware of same thing is there right there was a not gate here which i removed right uh, at last also there was a not gate i removed now how this will be equivalent to this i'll tell you see this is a b and here we were getting what we were getting a x nor b right x nor b so if this circuit is if this circuit is same as this circuit and we are giving input a x nor uh, b with ci then the output will be a x nor b x nor ci right now why this guy is equal to this because you have odd number of inputs odd number means a is one b is one and ci is one three three is odd right so when you xor odd number of inputs the x nor is equal to xor okay when you x or x nor two or uh, even number of inputs then it will be the bar of it okay so what i'm trying to say is if you take a x or b that will be equivalent to a x nor b bar but if you take a x or b x or c that will be equivalent to a x nor b x nor c okay when you have odd number of inputs they will uh, the, there will be equality among x nor and x or but if you have x, uh, even number of inputs then there will be a bar sign you can extend it further like you can do like a x or b other way around also it will work x or c x or d if i'll do then this will be equivalent to a x nor b x nor c x nor d bar because even number of inputs are there if i'll extend it even further even further then it will be equal a x nor x nor e like this okay you can prove it if you want i can uh, prove it with uh, two uh, or let's say three also if i'll prove it uh, what i'll get is <clears throat> a xor b xor c this if i i can write it as a xor b bar c plus a xor b c bar right this i can write it as a x nor b bar right even c bar plus a x nor b c this you can see right this is whole thing is x this is y so this is x bar y bar x bar plus x y so i can write it like a x or x nor b x nor c right that's how i can write this is x this is y so x bar y bar plus x y so this is equivalent to a x nor b x nor c so you can see that for odd number of inputs they are same so i can write here a x nor b x nor c, sorry x or c i so this is same as this guy so that's how you are reducing the number of gates that is about uh, now sum now let's look at the carry part for carry part what you are doing you are taking out the output from this gate and this gate and you are exhoring it here 
how this will work you can see we will get this expression this time okay so what is here it is a plus b bar right this is what you are getting here what you are getting from here is a x nor p plus c i whole bar this is what you are getting this guy is here this guy is here this is what you are getting here and this is you are getting here so at the output c i you can write this guy plus a plus b bar whole bar right if i'll remove the bar what i'll get a x or b plus c i plus a plus b bar right this is what you will get not, not bar a plus b right and there will be a dot here de morgan's law i am applying right now if i'll solve this what i'll get a x a bar b bar plus a b plus c i dot a plus b this is what i am getting if i'll do like this okay so if i'll open the bracket a bar a will give you zero a a b e this will give you a b plus a c i then if i'll multiply b then b b bar will give you zero a b plus b c i so what you are getting a b this a b and a b two a b's will be give you single a b plus b c i plus c i a this is the expression you are getting right so that is how you are reducing even further to nine gates okay so i hope you got the feel how it is uh, getting even reduced so total nine gates one two three four five six seven eight nine so with an and also you were able to get nine with nor also you are able to get nine okay it's a bit complicated you are not able to see directly this thing and uh, this expression that's that's why i didn't uh, uh, told you in the previously previous uh, part of this video okay